Hey everyone from Buenos Aires. Uh, you can't really see this um, too well yet, but I'm vlogging from a new location right now. I'm in my new apartment here um, in this part of town. Um, I The good thing about my new apartment, I haven't really planned this blog out too much, so it might seem a little bit uh, stuttery and sketchy at times. Um, I'm in my new apartment here, and I'll give you a quick little tour of it. Um, I'm sitting on my bed right now. There is my bed um, behind me, and there's another bed right over here to this side. And uh, you can see Wes is sleeping in that bed over there. It's just partially made. We just uh, woke up from a nap. And then I have a table over there. Um, there's the bathroom where Wes is taking a shower. There's the door to outside, my little refrigerator, and we're back around. You'll notice my view here isn't as nice. You can't really see too much right now because it's night. But basically, it doesn't change too much during the day because there's a wall. <laughs> so um, the view kind of sucks here. Um, part of it feels a little bit like a basement. Um, so what's good and what's bad about the new apartment, the new place? Um, basically, I don't really like it in here too much. It feels like a kind of a basement even when it's day outside. It's still kind of dark in here because this window has no view. And... Um, yeah, it doesn't have multiple rooms. The kitchen is, you just kind of open some closet doors and there's some kitchen stuff there, but it's not an actual room. Um, so uh, some parts of this place kind of suck. Um, but trying to make the most of it and look at the good things, like one is I have a permanent interconnect, internet connection, so I should be able to um, get these blogs up pretty quickly. You just noticed a slew of three blogs going up. Um, that I've been recording over the past couple of days. Also, um, I have a dimmer switch in my main room, um, so that is kind of exciting. Really looking for some things to be excited about. Um, didn't want to move out of the old apartment, but I had to because time ran out. Um, the other good thing about this place is that it's in a nice part of town, much safer, um, much easier to uh, get around to places that I actually want to go in town. Um, so in terms of that, it's really awesome really awesome so I like that a lot um yeah can't think of too much more to say about the new apartment for now let me know if you have any questions uh in the uh comment box part of thing Wes is in the shower right now and you met him in the last vlog he's refusing to come on camera so I'm doing this vlog but he's not in the room but hopefully he leaves here till Thursday we'll get him to do one before he leaves um other big thing is because I've been here uh three or actually 90 days exactly 90 days right now I had to go to immigration yesterday to um, get my passport uh, renewed my visa renewed for 90 days one thing I'm uh, sorry I forgot to mention this with the blog stuff uh, you'll notice that I uh, was able to finally access my money um, I was able to move in so yay that's happy anyway uh, back to immigration I um, couldn't go to Uruguay the other day because I didn't have any money to renew my passport. So one other option is to just go to the immigration office here in town. And um, if you pay a certain fee, they can do your, redo your passport. And um, thank God Eddie was there with me. Um, Eddie was there with me because if he wasn't, I wouldn't have known what to do. There was a big, big, long line outside um, to get in. And the first thing I noticed is that, wow, there are so many people of color here. because. Uh, uh, Argentina is such a white country, but the neighbor countries aren't so white. And so obviously the people that are in the immigration um, um, place are not from Argentina. So that's the first thing I noticed. Big, big, long line outside. Didn't know how long it would take to get into the office, um, but it actually moved really, really fast. We got inside within like 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, the line was wrapping around in circles, but it went really fast. We got inside and it looked kind of like a zoo in there. Uh, we went very early to try to avoid a line and um, didn't know where we were supposed to go right away. Thank God uh, Ariel was there to ask and so we find out where we're supposed to go and walk up to the counter. Um, keep in mind, like, all these other counters are swabbed with people and I walk up to the counter I'm supposed to go to and there's like nobody there and we walk over to grab a number and some woman sees us grab a number and she is like, oh, um, what are you here for? She, I think she wanted to make sure we're in the right place. And um, he told her what we're there for. And she's like, okay, we open in about five minutes. You're the first people. <laughs> so even though there are swarms of people, I don't even understand why that was happening. Maybe it's 
because it was the place for tourist visas being renewed. I don't know. We were the first people there, and um, basically I gave him my passport. This woman did some stuff on the computer for a little bit. She went over and made millions of photocopies. And stay out. You can't be in here while I'm making a blog. You have one minute. Stay out. There he goes. Um, <laughs> and uh, anyway, had to pay 100 pesos, which works out to $33. Came back, um, gave it to her. I don't know what she did, but sat on desk for about 10 minutes. And then finally, um, I could leave. So I'm extended in Argentina until up to March 18th. But I'm planning on leaving at the end of January. So anyway, um, yeah. I could stay in the country. I have an apartment. Things are going well. So. Um, other than that, can't think of anything else. Um, till next time, bye bye.